Hello crafties, welcome to another Knitting Wednesday. My name is Infinity and today I am here with a little like mini tutorial so to speak. So something that people have trouble with when they start knitting is counting their rows. Um, it can be a little trying <laughs> to count your stitches if you're a beginner knitter. So hopefully today's little lesson can alleviate that process. Um, so you might recognize these swatches if you've been hanging around for a moment you'll know um i did my first knitting i think when i started officially the knitting series i used these swatches for two different stitches so here i am today using them for counting purposes i am not casting on for this so without further ado i'm just gonna jump right into today's lesson okay so here's my first swatch and this is completely garter stitch so um, a lot of times when you're starting to knit this is the stitch that you know and it mostly consists or well it actually completely consists of knit stitches so it can be a little iffy when you're trying to count these and I'm going to put my knitting needle down so some people will stretch these apart and count in between here and I mean that's good to do so you know this row that you can if you did a long tail cast on that actually counts as a row this is the bottom it actually counts as a row and it curls up a little bit so you have to stretch it out and you have to count in between there so there's like one and there's two three four five six and so on and so on i personally like the method where i count the little ridges or pearl heads as some people call them um these little squigglies so each one of these consists of two rows, which, hey, it's easy counting by twos. So if you count them, there's one ridge, two ridge, three ridges, four ridges, five ridges, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then twelve times two is twenty-four. So I have twenty-four rows total of garter stitch. And then my cast off row. So that's fairly easy. So then I want to bring you guys over to the stockinette stitch. The stockinette stitch, let's face it, it's really easy to count. All you're doing is counting the little V's that go up your row. So, you know, if I wanted to start down here, let me zoom out a little bit because this swatch is big. If I wanted to start down here at this ridge of garter and be like, okay, I need to count my rows. One, V, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, and so on and so on and so on. So, I mean, it's really not that hard to do. You just kind of have to know what you're looking at. I hope today's little mini tutorial was helpful. If you have any more questions, you can always list them down in the comments below. I'll be more than glad to answer them. Oh, also before I go, say your project is on your needles. You never count that row that is on your needles. Like the loops that are on your needles it doesn't count yet until you've stitched it up now <laughs> i hope that was helpful as well if so don't forget to thumbs up this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on cool tips and stitch tutorials like this one i post knitting tutorials every wednesday at 9 30 a.m cst and until next time guys happy making